Okay, see you, Um Long story short, I've been trying to get everything all tidied up. It was running, then it didn't. Um, it's been starting, but it's been taking a long time to start, but it got worse and worse and worse. Took it around the block and thought, oh, it just cut out. I ended up having to do pushback by my neighbours, kindly, at night time, really late at night. Bless them, it was dark anyway. Um, and I can't figure out what's changed. It's got hotter, so maybe it's that. Um, and I thought I'd run out of fuel, but I don't think I actually had. So anyway, long story short, I have um, taken out the charger to get it started, couldn't do it. Took out the injectors and uh, changed those over. Had a look to see how it was running. It's basically running really rich. I've been trying to get it closer to Lambda 1. It's on like 6.6 or whatever. So on on the Mac ECU, it's trying to get to 1,000 effectively. And it's currently at um, 696. So um, with some help from Terry Watson, thanks Terry, um, I've been um, turning the, the fuel down and trying to get it to go. Uh, new f- injectors haven't made a difference. Uh, the moment I put my foot on the throttle, it bogs down and stops. So I've fitted new new injectors, which are a fetching blue colour, as you can see down there. And these are 470cc, so they've got a bit more go alongside the stickers and bits. So this is getting closer, ignore the jug, but I really just wanted to go. So what have I done? I've taken uh, Mikey Marshall's original um, map for his car um, which was running with well, van in fact which was running the same engine a different exhaust different inlet well same inlet but different air filter and slightly lower injectors and doing well over 170 horsepower which is excellent um, and I've had a look at and compared the fuel tables now these two fuel tables are well mine is very fuely by comparison his is like less than half or a third so I'm wondering whether maybe just too much fuel and it's causing it to choke and that's it it can't get enough air into it so I'm um I've got my second laptop out uh makes me sound like an absolute baller but it's an old one um and I've used his map changed the settings on the map to match my car so things like the throttle body and everything else and the outputs and I'm going to just be able to load that in and see if the car starts that's where I am Man, my old laptop's slow. Right, loaded the map, and much cranking, no starting. Uh, also, I have a fuel pressure gauge connected. You'd think that this was supposed to do something, didn't you? really want to be back under the car again but here I am just checking to make sure that the pipes and lines look okay they seem to be okay at this end which is really worrying so I'm gonna have to drop the tank I hope not okay so I did drop the tank and check the connections um, all okay took the plug off the top of the fuel pump and thought I'll just check and see what voltage is doing when it primes and it's 12.5 volts which is it's got a battery saver uh, charger, whatever you want to call it, plugged in currently, so that would explain that. So that's fine. Um, so, what else? I decided to take the lines off, blow them through with an airline, uh, connect them back up, check to see if they were working properly by squirting the uh, the hose directly into a milk bottle. Um, I wouldn't recommend this, don't do it. But I just wanted to make sure I'm actually getting fuel to the rail, which I was. Uh, and all kinds of things really. I just tried uh, changing the map back to the original map with the old injectors to see if it would do it. Of course it wouldn't start and absolutely pulling my hair out until I decided to change the fuel pressure regulator for an old one I had. Bearing in mind the one that's on this brand new, uh, new Ford, genuine Ford Bosch part of this, part of the inlet manifold and it was, it was brand new. So this is what happened. So yes, it started. Um, not quite instantly, 
but relatively quickly got up, got going, and I tinkered about with the the revs just a bit, just to try and make it uh, sit okay. And the keen eyed amongst you would have noticed that I've also changed the fuel filter that's temporarily bolted to the heater box, front of the heater box. Why have I done it there? Well, because I can keep an eye on it, basically. Uh, it's not gonna stay there. I'm not really sure where to put it. On the original cars that had this, and mine never did, they were bolted to the inner wing, but there's an airbox kind of in the way. The other side is an engine in the way. And on the back of the bulkhead, well, it's kind of tricky to get somewhere to screw into it, which A, isn't into a pipe, and B, isn't through the bulkhead into something where it shouldn't be. So I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. I did think about maybe putting it on the other side of the heater box so it's hidden, so the pipe goes up around the top, and then... Um, it appears sort of underneath the, the wiper uh, the wiper arm. Um, I'll show you. Under the back here, underneath where the wiper motor goes uh, to it. Um, I've still got a bit of tidying up to do, to be honest, but I'm running out of time. I want to build the heat shield. I haven't done that yet, but it's not critical to get it to the tuners, which is on Monday and today it's Thursday. So the fact that it now runs and after a bit of tweaking, it idles kind of okay but just a bit of fuel coming out the way. So it needs to be set up properly. I've agreed um, with Michael at Edition Advantages that's gonna come up. We're gonna try and get it mapped and sorted. If it's mapped and sorted, fantastic. Don't need to worry about it. If it's not mapped and sorted, then it's gonna stay with him and get sorted, which is an unbelievable weight off my mind. I cannot tell you how thankful I am just to be able to put it in and then not worry about it, hopefully. Well, not worry about it maybe quite so much. But the fact that it runs and it kind of sounds okay, I'm happy with. And watch how quickly it starts now. So, happy with that. Right, I think that's gonna be it for now. Um, I'm gonna go back inside. I've had many nights out here, quite tired. Um, very tired, in fact.